Hi kids! Today we will learn a very interesting topic and it is subject verb agreement. So let's start. First of all, what is a subject? Subject is the word or group of words about which we are talking in a sentence. And verb is a word that tells about the action being performed or the state of being of the subject. Now let's learn, what is this subject-verb agreement? A verb in a sentence must agree with the subject. That is, it must follow some rules that we will learn with the help of examples. He is busy today. They are busy today. I am busy today. We are busy today. Here, you can see when the subjects are he, they, I, and we, and we have used different helping words with different subjects. Is is used with he, are is used with they, am is used with I, are is used with we. Why so? This is subject-verb agreement. That is, the subject must agree with the verb, or a verb must agree with the subject. We have rules for this. Like, if the subject is singular, like he, she, or any singular noun, we use is with these subjects. And if the subject is I, we use am with it. Plural like they, we, us, or any plural noun or pronoun, we use are with it. That is, subject and the verb must agree with each other. So, this is about the helping verbs. Now let's learn about the verbs. Tia plays with the piano. Tia and Ria play with piano. So, what do you see when the subject is singular, that is Tia? We have put S after the verb, that is Tia plays. And when the subject is pearl, that is, Tia and Rhea, we have not put S after the verb. So, in all the sentences, subject and the verb must agree with each other. Now we will learn various rules on the subject-verb agreement. If the subject is I, the helping verbs am and have are used. Let's have examples. I am a singer. I am a boxer. I have a skateboard. I have a piano. And no S or ES is used with the verb. I play. I sing. I hate. I like. And if the subject is you, the helping verbs are and have are used. Let's have examples. You are a singer. You are a boxer. You have a skateboard. You have a piano. And if we are using verb with you, no S or ES is used with the verb. For example, you play piano. You sing very well. You look good. So, we have learned the rules regarding the usage of helping verbs and verbs with the subject I and you. Now let's learn rules regarding the usage of helping verbs and verbs with the subject he, she, it, or any singular noun. If the subject is he, she, or any singular noun, we use is with it. He is a singer. She is a boxer. Rhea is a tennis player. Also, only helping verb has is used if the subject is he, she, it, or any singular noun. She has a piano. Tim has a robot. He has a 3D game. And when we are using a verb with he, she, it, or any singular noun, we put s or es with the verb. She sings very well. He plays very well. 
It carries a lot of weight. He fits into this role. Tom loves chocolates. So, these were the rules. Now, let's fill in the blanks using these rules. Many people dash fond of pets. And we are given with three options. Is, am, are. Now what should come in the blank? Many people. So, the subject is plural, so we will use are. Many people are fond of pets. Dog, dash, the most popular pet. And we are given with two options, is and are. What should come in this blank? Dog is a singular subject, so we will use is. Dog is the most popular pet. We dash going for a trek. Now we are given with two options, is and are. The subject is plural, so we will use are. We are going for a trek. Whenever a pet, dash, its master. C or C's. What should come in the blank? Pet is a singular noun, so we will use C's, that is, we will put S after the verb. Whenever a pet sees its master, it, dash, welcome or welcomes, what should come in the blank? It is a singular pronoun, so we will use welcomes. That is, we will add S to the verb. It welcomes him by wagging its tail. This action of a dog, dash, most pleasing for its master. We are given with two options, is and are. Dog is singular pronoun, so we will use is. The action of a dog is most pleasing for its master. A dog never dash its master. Harm or harms. Dog. Dog is singular noun, so we will put S after the verb. A dog never harms its master, even if he dash it cruelly. Treat or treats. He is a singular noun, so we will put S after the verb. He treats it cruelly. Children dash their pets. Love or loves. Children is a plural subject, so no S or ES after the verb. So we will use love. Children love their pets. A child even dash his bed with its pet. Share or shares. What should come in the blank? A child. Child is singular noun, so we will use shares. That is, we will put S or ES after the verb. A child even shares his bed with its pet. Now let's fill some more blanks. Colors, dash, an important part in our life. Has or have, what should come in the blank? Color is a plural noun, so we will use have. Colors have an important part in our life. They, dash, our life beautiful. Make or makes. They is plural, so we will use make. They make our life beautiful. Bright colors dash us happy and energetic. Makes or make, what should come in the blank? It should be make, because bright colors is plural. Dark colors dash us calm or sad. Now, what should come in the blank? Make or makes. Colors is plural, so it should be make. Dark colors makes us calm or sad.
red, yellow, and blue dash primary colors. Now, is or are, what should come in the blank? It should be are because we are using plural subject red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow, and blue are primary colors. They dash mix together to form different colors. Is or are, what should come in the blank? They is a plural pronoun, so we will use are. They are mixed together to form different colors. So, we have seen a lot many examples to learn. The subject verb agreement. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye.